Hey man, say man, welcome back to another episode of Scrooge the Media TV, man. Had to come tap in live, man, that six something in the morning, man. Offset has responded to J Prince comments on a million dollar worth of game podcast with Wallow and Gilly. Um J Prince basically said, um, towards the end of Takeoff's life, him and Offset didn't have a great relationship. And he also said that J Prince also said that I guess he was hearing things that Offset was saying about him, you know, saying after takeoffs passing and stuff like that. So Offset responded basically saying, you know, um, they don't know how him and Takeoff relationship was. And, you know, um, they think they John Gotti and stuff like that. You know, all this type of stuff, man. At the end of the day, this is how I look at it. When you go on interviews and you speak on certain things, People have a right to comment back. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm not saying Jay Prince is wrong. I'm not saying Offset wrong. I'm saying when you go on platforms and speak on stuff, the people, family, or whoever is surrounding that person have a right to comment back on that. Now, what I don't like is how everything is brought to the internet. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. Like, whenever I get into it with somebody, I, I, I pray and hope they don't bring it to the internet because it makes things worse when it could have just been a simple phone call. Blah, blah, blah. We could have talked it out, stuff like that. But like I said, by them, by Jay Prince and going on the interview, their podcast and speaking on it, Offset feels some type of way about it to where he responded. And we know Offset don't really do videos like that on his story. So obviously he feels some type of way that he went to his story and responded to that. At the end of the day, we don't know how him and Takeoff relationship was. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I just know Offset was part of the Migos and he left over some business stuff. Stuff like that. And um, at the end of the day, family gonna fight. We gotta be realistic. Family gonna fight. Like right now, me, me, me and my little brother not talking. Family gonna get into it. So I ain't no telling what they personal relationship was or even if they was beefing. Maybe they wasn't beefing. I don't know. But family is gonna get into it. We know that. So I didn't understand why Jay Prince brought that up. That part in that interview. He didn't have to say, well, their relationship wasn't good towards the end. Of takeoffs passing. I don't know why he brought that up. I don't know. But he did say he was hearing things that take Offset was saying about him and all that. I don't know if that's true. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times people make up stuff just to get somebody reaction. We all know Jay Prince, when he feel disrespected by somebody, he going to speak on it. And ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? That's called being a man. He going to speak on it and stuff like that. But I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan of going to the internet with it, going on platforms with certain type of information now I'm, now i'm not saying interviews are wrong but i'm saying certain type of information shouldn't be put on interviews and i feel like while long gilly probably should have cut that part out where he said their relationship wasn't good towards the end that's just me personally because at the end of the day small things like that can cause a big reaction and obviously offset responded and we know he got a huge following on instagram and a bunch of uh media outlets and blogs and stuff have, have picked it up including me and posted it so at the end of the day, everything isn't meant to be said on platforms. That's just always been my motto. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I know somebody who did something, I'm not going to speak on that. If the case solved or not solved, I'm not going to speak on it because certain things shouldn't be spoken on. So at the end of the day, Offset has the right to respond. He has the right to feel how he feel, which he did. You know what I'm saying? Um, so i just hope nothing escalates from this at the end of the day one thing about jay prince he gonna speak his mind he gonna speak how he feel ain't nothing wrong with that he a grown man he can speak how he want to speak i just say certain things shouldn't be spoke about you know what i'm saying so we're gonna see how that story develop over the days and stuff like that but offset did respond to jay prince comments about him and take off the relationship you know what i'm saying and like I said, me personally, I just don't think that was right of Jay Prince to speak on that. Because at the end of the day, we don't know if they was talking or not. We don't know. Yeah, he wasn't in the group. I said one in the group. But they probably could have been talking and laughing and giggling and sending funny messages. We don't know. I don't have a phone. I don't know them. So at the end of the day, certain things should not be spoke on. And at the end of the day, uh, this is just an ugly situation. RP to take off. Or, you know, it's an RP to that man. Condolences to his family, friends, the record label he was part of, the fans that loved him, everybody that supported him and was around him. I want to see my condolences out. But at the end of the day, Offset responded and he had the right to respond because at the end of the day, he felt some type of way about what Jay Prince said. And at the end of the day, Takeoff was with y'all that night in Houston. 
and the man he didn't make it back home so people obviously still upset about it and gonna be upset about it so at the end of the day it is what it is man i got more content coming i'm gonna update y'all as the story develops you know what i'm saying like i said offset has responded to jay prince comments about him to take off relationship before he passed man appreciate the support man one love